Hiya, it's Linda Lee, and I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting this recording done, so I'm going to try it a little differently. We'll see how it works. But what we're doing is a September Wall of Inspiration Project share, and what I thought I would do, um, I actually received uh, this in my queen mail uh, a little while ago from Elaine Towns. And I haven't really seen um, anybody really do this, at least not like this. So I thought we would do it as a project share because I've been wanting to. So this is as good a time as any. And I think all of us can play with it a little bit. So anyway, what this is, is packaging that we get. So this kind of stuff that comes off of different items that we might buy that are flat, like envelopes or stickers or anything kind of like that. And it looks like what she did is she dry decoupaged a napkin to a book page and then stitched it inside and then cut it around. And we actually have a pocket on both sides. So we have a pocket here and a pocket here. So this is what we're gonna do for our little um, Wall of Inspiration project share. So I actually have already done two, um, but like I said, we're ha I'm having difficulty with the recording, so I'm gonna try and do it again. Um, but these two, I kinda did two versions. I did one following pretty much what she did, only um, she's got some nice clean edges in here. And what I did is I tore mine so that they weren't, you know, nice and straight. And then, um, but everything else is pretty much the same. Dry decoupage. Um, this is actually a napkin that Elaine sent me in the same envelope as um, this little pocket. And it's both, it's definitely two-sided. I had two different colors of thread in my machine one in the bobbin and one on the top um, so that's why this one is kind of beige um, so I did this one and also for those of you who may not have a sewing machine um, I just drew an imperfect stitch around this one so this is just a black pen so I slid um, my dry decoupage book page inside of some packaging that's about the same size. So I didn't have to actually do the sewing because it is sealed just by the natural packaging. And then for the sewing, I just, you know, like I said, I drew an imperfect stitch all the way around. So it's faux sewing. <laughs> but, um, that's basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one. I had run out of thread both on the top and bottom in my sewing machine. So I've got it re-threaded with um, black in the bobbin and brown on the top. But I'm going to do another one like this. And hopefully we can get a little bit better recording. So that um, I can share my pockets with y'all. See? It's just an unfinished tag that I have, but it coloring wise, it works. So I still have the other half of the envelope or the napkin. Um, and I have a couple of book pages. So let's kind of grab another piece of packaging and a book page. And let's make another one. So I tore this out of the book that I was using and I'm just going to go ahead and pull that border off. So this is pretty close in size. I just want to tear that edge a little more. Okay. We're 
we're going to do some more dry decoupage. Now, the way I'm recording this is I'm just using the video camera on my phone. So I'm not able to kind of look on my iPad and see if I'm centered or anything. So I'm going to try and stay right here. <laughs> um, that way, hopefully, the majority of what I do will be fairly centered. So what I'm doing is I'm just separating some of the flowers so we can do a little bit of gluing. And I have some glue stick. And we're going to just lay this over. And then I'm going to just kind of tear the napkin away from the paper. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this down. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Get a little bit of this flower pulled down. But yeah, today is being September 1st. Um, it's our Wall of Inspiration Day. So if you got a wall, today's the day to take a picture of it. Um, I actually haven't done mine yet. I've got it partially taken down. Um, being that September is kind of the first of the season for Kelly, um, she takes, I think she takes everything down on the first and starts all fresh and new for season, which is, you know, basically the holidays and fall and winter. Um, so I was doing the same thing. I was pulling my stuff down. Now what I usually do is I'll, I'll probably leave a couple few things up. Um, but I do need to still take a picture of my wall yet. So, first is pretty busy. There's all kinds of postings. We got the queen. Um, we have, you know, our um, connections person to, to thank and, and honor for the month. Um, my little die cutters, we are saying thank you now for, for helping with that group. So, we've got, um, let's see, Cat is our queen. Uh, Jennifer is our connections girl for the month. So thank you for all that you do, Jennifer. And Kat, congratulations. And Bonnie is the one who we are recognizing this month for the ETC uh, Dynamic Die Cutters. All right, so here we've got some flowers here. I wonder if I have... A little bit more. I want to do something. I don't like how this doesn't really go there, but I don't like the straight down edge. So this is a uh, from a different part of one of the flowers, but I'm gonna put it right here anyways. Just so I don't have a straight edge. I kind of have a straight edge, but. <laughs> there. 
Okay. So we'll give that a moment to dry. Um, while that's happening, I am going to cut the top off of this plastic. And we're going to go ahead and insert this. And now I'm going to sew around it. Um, what I'm not going to do is sew across the top, though, because I want the pocket to be open on both the front and the back. We're just stitching the paper to the packaging part so far. So let me bring over my machine. I'm not sure how we're doing centered wise, but we're trying. How do I look guys? Am I doing it? I'm flying blind. <laughs> Hopefully my machine doesn't act up too, so. So I'm just going to stitch all the way around. I have it set on a zigzag like Elaine did. And the only difference between how me and Elaine are really doing it is I have the torn edge and she has a nice straight edge in hers. But yeah, with this black thread, you can see it a lot better. Then like on my very first one, I believe Elaine backstitched on hers too. I didn't backstitch on mine. So. Okay. So, ta da! Now I'm going to cut around the edges so I have the little jagged edges like she does. I'm not sure if this is exactly how she did it, but we kind of got the same result. Here, let me go a little closer. Okay. So now I have a pocket both front and back. <coughs> Excuse me. So one side and the other side. Can you tell I like strings too? I got strings hanging out everywhere. So we can use this to tuck in anything, really, another tag, um, journal cards, uh, letters. And then this can go in a tuck spot in any of our journals. So yeah. And then again, the no-sew version. So we can still achieve something similar in look. Um, without having a machine. I just zigzagged. I kind of like the imperfect zigzag. I do that on purpose sometimes. I play with my tension. Um, but yeah. That's our little project. Quick, simple, and easy. And uh, we can use uh, these packagings. Because I've been collecting them without really knowing what to do. I just know that this plastic is going to be good for something. So, 
Thank you, Elaine. I love it. Hopefully you enjoy it too. Let me see what you got. Thank you, girls. Enjoy um, the rest of your day. And we'll see you in group. Take care.